Hey guys and welcome to The Wishing Shed. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this really sweet little needle felted carol singing mouse. This little guy is similar to the strawberry mouse pattern which is available to view over in my Etsy shop so please feel free to check that out and I'll put the link to that in the video description. Because these mice don't have a wire armature inside, they're not movable or poseable like some of the other mice I've made in the past, but this is a quicker way of needle felting little mice. And as winter's approaching, you might like to check out my needle felting book, which is called Needle Felting Winter, and that's available over in my Etsy shop, I'll put the link to that as well, and also it's available on Amazon. If you do buy the book directly from me via my Etsy shop then I will throw in some free needles or free samples of wool as a thank you. So I'm going to make a little white mouse but you can make any colour mice that you like and to start with I'm going to make the body so I'm just rolling that uh, cardiff wool up and needle felt all over. So I am needle felting, as you can see, quite firmly right through to really compact the fibres down. So that's compacted down quite nicely now and I'm just going to roll. And then you can needle felt a bit more just to smooth and shape if you want to. And a smaller amount of white wool to make the head. And we just roll that up. And again, just needle felt all over. You may wish to wear uh, finger guards because this is a smaller area to felt, just to protect your fingers. And again, I'm just going to roll the head. Right, so because I want this little mouse as a carol singing mouse and I want his head to be pointing upwards, um, I'm going to felt this section here a bit flat and then have his head going up like this, if you can see what I mean. If you wanted his head going down, then you could needle felt this bit flat and just put his head like this. Before I attach the head, I like to make the nose and the eyes. So I'm using a little bit of pink cardi wool for the nose and just gonna needle felt that straight on. You may need to just reshape around the nose to keep it pointed once you've done that. And I'm going to make him a little mouth just with a little bit of black wool. And that just goes underneath the nose. Now for the eyes, I'm going to needle felt in two little eye sockets either side. So if you just look from above to line up the socket so that they're even. And then I have these little flat back um, acrylic beads and just going to glue those in place using some fabric glue so just pop those in and whilst my eyes are drying Onto the head, I'm going to cut out the ears. Now, I'm not going to attach the ears yet, so we just put those aside and just make the little feet from the felt fabric. So we'll just move the feet aside for now and continue with the arms and 
we're going to leave these little the thinner ends uh, for the pores and you just want to needle felt a little bit of your white carded wool using a fine felting needle so not that one and needle felt along up the arm with the white carded wool leaving the little pores so you don't need much wool at all here. Then lift and you can felt some onto the other side. And once that's felted onto the arm, just roll in between your fingers. And this just creates the arm. It's a real easy way to make little arms. Um, that's why I say I love making these little mice. Um, if you don't need them to be poseable and you just want to make some real simple decorations, then this is an easy way to do it. Okay, so before I attach the ears, I'm now going to attach the head to the body. So like I say, I want my little mouse to be singing upwards like this. So I've needle felted a little bit at an angle at the top of the head. And now I'm just going to felt straight around and up. Like this, just carefully going around. And once you're anchored on to the position you want, you can just needle felt some more carded wool over the join. And this will securely attach the head to the body. I mean, I'm not too bothered about the join showing here anyway, because I'm going to be giving him a little scarf. So it depends, um, you know, how fussy you want to be. Just into a little bit of PVA mixed with water and that will just, when that dries, that will just harden the pores um, to make them a bit more durable. So the hats are really easy to make actually. You just want to take a piece of felt fabric and then you just line up the edges and sew together using any stitch you like. I'm using a blanket stitch. Just let that dry and I needle that a little bit into a ball for the bobble on the hat. So once the glue is dried on the hat, on the rim of the hat, you can um, just neaten up the ends by needle felting the joins together. Alternatively, you can just needle felt the white wool straight through uh, the rim so usually I like to put the ears facing upwards um, and to do that you simply would needle felt through the back of the head like this so if you fold the ears in half um, and position onto the head what you can do which might be easier is to just pin the ears in place once you have the position and then you can needle felt through but because I'm uh, I want this little mouse to be wearing his hat I thought it would be cute to have the ears facing downwards um, so I'm going to position them just in line with the eyes the back of the head and needle felt into place And once you're happy with the position of the first ear, you can match up the other ear on the other side. Uh, 
and I'm just going to stuff my hat with a little bit of wool and I'm going to sew a couple of stitches just to keep the hat in a folded position. Okay, now let's attach the feet. And again, I'm going to uh, dip just a little bit of the PVA mixture onto the feet and let that dry. So once the feet, the PVA glue is dry on the feet, it actually will stiffen the felt and enable your little mouse to stand up better. Okay, so now I want to attach the arms. Uh, so I want the paws sort of facing inwards like this. And you just want to needle felt straight into the body. And then if you want to, you can always add a bit more wool just over the joins um, to cover them. You like to cut in the little finger detail as well. So if you just make a couple of small snips. You can create the little fingers. There we go. And so now let's put the tail on. And for this little mouse, I'm using some wool yarn, uh, just some pink wool yarn. And you want to tie a knot in one end. So tie quite a big knot. And then cut the excess. So we just have the knot. And then you can sew that straight down through the mouse's body. Pull it in to hide like this. And then if you want to, you can just needle felt a, a little bit more white wool over the knot to hide it. Um, and then just simply cut your tail to length. For the book, I just cut some little strips of paper. And cut those to length, and then you can just put them onto a piece of brown felt or any colour felt you want, and staple into place, like so. And then you can simply cut around the cover of the book just to neaten that up. So for the little lantern I'm cutting some yellow felt fabric so I'm just gonna roll that up and then you can add some little details to the lantern. So you can just glue those on and let that dry. And just making a little loop for the top of my lantern so it can hang um, onto the post. And for that, I'm just twisting some black wire together. And then if you make a little hole in the centre of one of your felt fabric circles, you can just thread that through. Once it's through, just bend the wire flush. Decided to draw on a little extra detail on the lantern with black marker. Uh, 
Okay, so for the snow globe, for the little mouse to go in, I'm actually using a um, recycled jar. And for the base, you want to measure out um, some felt fabric. So it doesn't have to be exact. You can just cut around slightly smaller than the actual lid itself. So just cut around that. Just needle felt some white wool onto the top of that. So just felt straight on. So I've just glued the base now into the lid as well. Glue on the lantern. Okay, so I'm adding some little snowflakes now, uh, just using some white glass paint. Trouble with glass paint is it can be quite runny. Um, you might prefer to use ordinary acrylic paint for this. So I've glued in my holly leaves and I'm going to glue on some little wooden beads now for the berries. Just adding a little bit of glitter over the lantern and the leaves and the snow and I'm going to tie that just around the neck. You might want to just do a little stitch just to keep the scarf in place. And I'm going to give my little mousey some rosy cheeks just using a little bit of uh, soft pastel. And just on the insides of the ears as well. So just going to glue the little book in place. Now I like to do one hand at a time. Oops, a bit too much. Um, and just let that dry. And then you can glue the other hand on. And then just glue the other. So there we go, our little mouse is all ready to go inside the snow globe jar. I really love making these little mice and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and having a go at making your own little mice. Um, you could do variations and add some little wings to make some little fairy mice in all different colours. Entirely up to you. Thanks again so much for stopping by and we'll see you back here soon.